Lovely Leo, and welcome to your abundance reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out your other readings on my channel if you haven't had a chance. And please do me a huge solid. Hit that notification bell for later readings. I'll be doing a love-related reading. If that's more your thing than this, which is more abundance, wealth, finance, career, that kind of thing. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that other great stuff. I would super de duper appreciate it. It means the world to me. Um, and otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started here. Again, we're going to do this in a past, present, future format using a typical tarot deck. And then for the clarification at the end, we will be using an abundance deck. And this will be, again, more abundance leaning. So more wealth, finance, career leaning uh, in that regard. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the past row, your present row, and your future row. And we'll certainly get clarifiers as we go. But just to kind of get you started off the bat, your past row is the Hermit and the World card in reverse. So what I do feel like is that you guys have kind of been withdrawn. I feel like you have been kind of plugging away at things, but you're not really getting anywhere right now or haven't been for some time. I feel like you've been closed off. You haven't kind of brought anything full circle or to fruition. That's why your world card is kind of in reverse. And it may be that you're kind of backing away from something. So for those of you who may be trying to come out of a relationship um, that wasn't great for you, um, you know, that may be why you're kind of withdrawn. Um, but in the career and finance world, I think for a lot of you, it could be something where you're having to take a step back financially. Okay. And that could just be because, you know, maybe you had a pay cut, maybe just the cost of living has hit you a little bit harder. Um, maybe you're downsizing and that's kind of what's happening. Um, and the reason that the world card is in reverse is because, um, you know, you had kind of a full, a full circle fruition world, maybe your home was full, um, and now you know you're an empty nester. That could be the situation. So now you're kind of looking to downsize. I see that for quite a few of you. Um, others of you, maybe you're looking for, uh, you know, a new job. Maybe you've lost a job, or you know, you're kind of not necessarily demoted, but um, your pay wasn't increased the way you were promised or told, or you didn't get the promotion you were promised or what have you. So it's kind of withdrawn you a little bit, um, kind of pulled you back. So you feel like maybe you aren't as, um, you haven't moved as, as forward as much as you would had hoped. Um, you haven't hit the goals as much as you'd hoped. And also it's kind of a little bit kind of taking your edge off of where you feel like you know, your confidence. So let's see what that kind of parlays into as far as where you are now. And I do see your six of wands in reverse. So again, I do feel like this has kind of really stopped you from pushing forward where normally you may be one who, you know, I, I feel good. I feel like there's opportunities out there. I'm going to push, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get them. I feel like for some of you, you are feeling very frustrated, very down and out. Um, and maybe it's just a, a sense of, you know, you just need to kind of Pull yourself back together, pull yourself up by your bootstraps because you've hit a run of bad luck for a bit. Um, but it's, you know, it's not a place you want to live, right? So don't, don't necessarily think you're going to live there. And the reason I'm saying that is because this King of Pentacles is your next card and you don't get any better than that, right? As far as, I mean, we can get the Ace of Pentacles, but <laughs> financially, I mean, realistically, that is big budget, right? So that could either be your um, you know, your personal energy, as far as you are going to come into something major, um, or it could be somebody who's going to show up in your life that really brings that opportunity to you. Okay. Um, but if you're not looking for it, if you're not watching for it, if you're not believing in yourself enough to grab at it, you know, you could, it could pass you by. Okay. Just because the opportunity is sent to you does not guarantee it, right? You have to take it. You have to grab it. So keep that in mind. Okay. But I do see that it is coming. It's going to be there. So what's in your future, right? So the future is we have the nine of swords in reverse, which tells me that I do feel like you are going to grab it. Okay. If that opportunity comes or you're going to be the one who's making the most of that, that could be your energy. Either way, however you slice it, you're getting to a much better place because that nine of swords in reverse is telling me you're no longer stressed. You're no longer struggling. You've kind of put that burden down. It's behind you. You're kind of feeling better about yourself, feeling less stressed over money, less stressed over the job, less stressed over the finances. You know, maybe some of your investments have kind of taken a real hit. And I've heard a lot of people recently say, you know, holy cow, you know, I've really plummeted. What am I going to do? You know, and sometimes the best thing to do is nothing, right? Just sit there and write it if you can. And if you can, you know, 
I think maybe something will come for you in this regard and then you won't have to stress it, you know, or, but the thing is to just kind of keep the faith, right? That's the kind of what I'm seeing here. And as long as you do that, I feel like that's what's going to be your best attribute thus far. Now, again, we're going to get more cards here, of course, and that could change, but um, that's kind of the route that I'm seeing you take here. Um, the Ace of Cups in reverse does let me know that you know, I feel like you are still going to be kind of, you're going to be a power, that ace of cups lets me know that you have that energy in you, okay? So I do feel like that's your energy. I do feel like that's an energy you're going to have, right? But I feel like you're going to be more careful with who you're pouring it out to, okay? So I feel like that's going to, you know, harken back here to why you may have been kind of hermit a little bit yourself. I feel like maybe for some of you, you may have been um, kind of, cheated or screwed over a little bit financially by somebody, by somebody at work, by a business partner, by a friend, by a family member, something like that, something financially. And that may be why you kind of closed yourself off, closed off your world, your circle, maybe your circle of people at work, circle of friends, whatever, and kind of went into the hermit mode. Um, and so you, you still have that ace of cups energy, but you're a little bit more careful about how you you know, flow it out, right? So that's kind of how I'm feeling that that's working out. And so for a lot of you, I feel like that might be the case is that part of your financial issues here that, and part of why you're feeling kind of down and out is not just that you're feeling down and out. It's kind of like, you feel like, you know, it was a disloyalty. It was, it's emotional for you too. It's not just like, dang, I'm, I'm hurting financially. That sucks. Or I've taken a hit financially. It's more than that. It's like, kind of like a, you know, this was somebody I trusted. This is somebody I believed in. This is somebody who got me in an investment. They promised, you know, something of that nature that was a little bit more emotional, a little bit more that you had invested in it. So let's see what we've got. We'll get another clarifier here on this past. And we do have the seven of cups in reverse. Okay. So I feel like what that is saying is that, you know, you had a lot of choices, people, friends, family members, whatever. And, um, you know, maybe those choices you know, they didn't make the best choices for you. Um, or perhaps you chose, you feel that you chose poorly again. Um, and you're kind of blaming yourself in some regards, but you're also taking it in as also feeling bad that maybe, you know, somebody kind of maybe led you astray also. So I feel like it's kind of a, a you know, a double-edged sword in that regard that on some hands you're saying, man, I want to just close everybody off because, you know, I don't know who to trust. I don't know if I can even do this, but also you're kind of blaming yourself too, going, I should know better. And I don't want to put myself out there anymore because every time I think I've got some good opportunity or some chance or some friend or something I believe in, bam, I'm taking more steps back. Um, so you're kind of closing off your choices here. Um, and I see that kind of going forward into the current time. I do remember time is fluid in tarot. So, you know, you may still be in this, this part of your journey, or you may have already kind of moved on to this middle section where you're living that now. And, you know, you're still kind of hesitant to move forward with opportunities you see, but you may already be at this part where, you know, you're seeing opportunities or you're moving forward with great opportunities because you've kind of built back that trust, that faith, that belief in yourself, or maybe that's just been it. You've decided I'm done with believing in others, taking others on, taking others choices, and I'm going to go it solo because I know I can trust myself and that's what you need to do. This may very well be your energy and the best thing for you to do is, you know, start your own business. Maybe that's been something you've really been thinking about. You know what? I don't want to partner with somebody else. I don't want to depend on somebody else. I don't want to trust somebody else. That's got me into trouble every time. I'm going to trust myself, depend on myself, start my own business. Maybe that's what's, if that's something you've been thinking about, that may be what this is. Otherwise, this is somebody who is coming to you trusting that you can trust in, okay? This is somebody that you know without a shadow of a doubt you can believe in, but you have to keep your eyes open for that and you have to be, you know, you have to be receptive, okay? If you're not going to be receptive because you have been kind of given some bad, you know, some bad vibes, some bad juju, some bad luck, some bad, a good, a good run of bad luck, whatever, um, you know, it's time for you to kind of re receive that. So let's get some more clarifiers here. The sun, okay? So as soon as you are accepting that, Again, not only are you getting that King of Pentacles energy, but it's showing you, you know, you're seeing, literally you're seeing the light, right? You're seeing that 
you've got that ability in you. And again, for those of you who you are that King of Pentacles energy and you've been kind of contemplating, should I branch out on my own? Should I do these things on my own? Should I stop trusting everybody? That may be your best option. You may be the sun, the center of the of your financial universe. This may be your you know, your time to shine, literally, okay? Um, and for others, this may be the person who is going to kind of give you that opportunity. This may be, this King of Pentacles may be somebody that is going to offer you the business loan, offer you the information, the contacts, the, you know, connections that you need to get started, okay? They may be the person who knows how to do what you want to do, um, or they may be somebody you can just really trust for, um, you know, that step up, but not necessarily somebody, you know, you need to actually go, rely on or into business with okay because i see you know when you're the sun like this and it's shining on you a lot of times you know you are really the central figure and you really are the one making these things happen and for somebody who's really had a lot of choices that have gone bad for them you know you're you're your best bet and you're also your best advocate so keep that in mind let's get one more on here okay judgment in reverse okay and again if you look at that card you know it's you know you're looking up normally okay you're looking up for help okay help me i need some somebody to tell me what to do this kind of thing but this is in reverse so this is kind of like again you're not looking for somebody to tell you what to do you're not looking for anybody to lead you to guide you you're not looking to be part of you know you're you're looking for a leadership role this time okay you don't care about their judgment you don't care about what they're telling you to do you're making your own choices this time and you're moving forward so for a lot of you i see that this is your chance to kind of do something that maybe you've wanted to do um that maybe even people around you haven't you know really responded to maybe your friends and family have kind of been like eh, i don't know that that's a great idea it's a little risky it's this it's that but you just believe in yourself okay because every other time maybe you've been like you know what i've done what i'm supposed to do i followed the normal pattern of getting the nine to five job to believing in this and that trying this and that doing what i thought was right and it's failed 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 so this time you know maybe it's something where I just want to try something new, you know, and, and it may be something where it's just, you know, you may say, you know what, I'm pulling out of all this stuff that I've been investing in and I'm going to retire. Maybe that's what you want to do. You're going to go literally spend some time in the sun, retire, and you're done with being judged, being told what to do, being doing anything, you know, this may over here, like I said, maybe that is where you're downsizing because you've been stuck in a house, being a breadwinner, being the person who runs the home, being, you know, everything to everybody. And now it's your time to branch out and enjoy your life a little bit. Um, and maybe you do have the funds to do that. Um, but everybody else was kind of, you know, pulling on those funds. And now that you have that opportunity, you know, maybe it's time for you to kind of take those funds before they go away before if you see them slipping away if you see people you know utilizing your funds before you get a chance to your retirement dwindling your 401k dwindling whatever if that's the case maybe that's what that case could be depending on how it resonates with you personally like i said if you're one of these people that you're an empty nester now and that's kind of what you're thinking about that could potentially be what that is as well so it depends on you know where you are in your life um but let's see going forward again i feel like whatever you're doing you're doing it well because again we've got that nine of swords in reverse telling me that you're doing well you're not losing any sleep over it anymore um you know the ace of cups in reverse is telling me that you know, you're being more careful about who you're pouring your stuff out to. So again, that harkens back here to, you know, maybe there's people you can't trust to go into business with or partner with in business. Um, or it could very much be that if you were the matriarch, patriarch, breadwinner of a family who's taken care of everybody for a long time, and now, you know, they're living off you right? Because you're the one who has the, the funds, you know, you've got that 401k, you've got that pension plan, you've got that retirement plan, those kinds of things that maybe, you know, now the younger generations don't have, you know, before those things start to get kind of used and abused, you know, you're being more careful how you're spending it, or how you're allowing people to kind of use you for it. Because you know what, you know, you're not gonna let other people take that from you take advantage of you. And you're going to be the sun. You're going to enjoy your time, yourself, what you've earned before it's all gone, right? So, you know, that depending again on where you are, but let's get another clarifier there. Okay, two of cups. So again, this could be something where if you're single, you know, if you are, again, the matriarch, patriarch, 
you know, if this is something where you have been on your own for a very long time and, you know, you've got kids just, you know, living off of you that are grown, you know, these kinds of things, this may be your time to go out and find somebody just for you. You know, I see a partnership here. This doesn't necessarily mean it's a relationship, you know, so, but it could be a very nice partnership, somebody to spend your time with and enjoy your time with, okay, if that's your situation. Now, on the other hand, this may be that because you're being very particular about who you, you know, build your businesses and your contacts with now, because you are becoming the central figure, you're in control. You're not a follower anymore or a part of, you know, a big corporate engine or machine or whatever, you're running your own thing now, you are able to be more careful and find a perfect, you know, partnership that's going to be much better, more advantageous for you. That could blossom into other things, but very much, um, you know, a healthy partnership in that way. So again, depends on where you are in your perspective life financially, um, age-wise, that kind of thing, how it works for you. Uh, let's get another clarifier here. So we have the nine of wands. And again, I feel like this is where it's telling you it's time to put that burden down. You're right about that point where you're like, okay, enough's enough, right? It's time for me to be able to stop worrying about all these things. And you've already started up here. You've kind of put some of that stress behind you. And now it's like, okay, I'm not going to worry about it anymore, right? Now, whether you're not worrying about it anymore because you've got good partnerships, good job uh, income coming in because of your choices here, that King of Pentacles, you've made good decisions and now you're really firing on all cylinders financially, business-wise, income-wise, started your own business or at least kind of are in control now. You're not just you know, reliant on others or kind of falling into line as it were. Um, you're kind of really taking the bull by the horns and kind of being that, that central figure of your own life for once or whether it's because again, you're like enough with this, you know, everybody kind of having their hand in my cookie jar. I've, I've done my due diligence. I've done my time. Everybody else needs to kind of worry about themselves. I don't mind helping people, but not to my own detriment. I'm going to enjoy my life now a little bit. I'm going to focus on myself a little bit, make some contacts, make some connections with this two of cups here, be more careful who I'm handing out my hard earned dollars too. And, you know, put some of those burdens away where I don't have to worry about everybody else all the time. You know, you, a lot of people, I hear so many people who are, you know, older Gen Xers, I'm a Gen Xer, older Gen Xers, boomers, like my mom, you know, and it's like, they're raising their kids, they're raising their grandkids and they're paying all their bills. And it's like, gosh, you've already done this. I would, you know, I would not want my mother to pay my bills. I mean, bless her heart, she already raised me, right? You know, so that's crazy. I wouldn't want her paying my kids' bills. You know, she already raised me. She should enjoy what she worked so hard for. Same for my dad. He should have what he worked so hard for, right? So, you know, he should put that burden down, you know, and, and enjoy himself. So um, let's go with the uh, last one here we'll pull and then we'll get some clarifiers from the abundance deck here. So, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? And so I do just feel like at this point, you know, you have, and again, just gender neutral here, so male or female, you have that that queenly power, you know, you have that, you are probably a head of a family type situation in some regard, um, you know, and people do look to you for opportunities. They look to you for a lot of things. But again, I do feel like this is telling me in reverse that, you know, spirit, your higher divination, whomever you believe in here, it's kind of telling you that you need to step away from that, that you're kind of an enabler in some regards, <laughs> um, you know, and even if it's not your family, it could be your coworkers. It could have been people that, you know, just relied on you. And maybe that's part of what was going over here with them kind of screwing you over per se financially is these were people you worked with. You know, they were coworkers, they were this or that, but they were you know, they were not treating you right. You were doing all the work and they were taking equal pay or things like that. Okay. That's not right. Right. You know, these are things that, you know, again, if you have the opportunity and you're doing the most or as much as anyone else, you should be the one taking as much as anyone else, you know? And now if you've worked your tail off for 40 years and you've earned all of this, why, why would anybody else come with their hands out? They shouldn't, right? So just because you've put yourself in such a wonderful position 
Um, even if it is, you know, at this point where you're just now coming into that position by taking back charge. Hey, look, I'm not going to deal with these deadbeat coworkers, deadbeat partners, whatever anymore who've really kind of cheated me over, you know, with things. You know, I'm doing these things myself. I'm going to take my share. I'm going to take my cut. I'm going to do whatever it is. You know, however this is working in your, you know, respect, uh, again, I think this is showing that you have that power and opportunity to do whatever you want but you're being very judicious about how you use it, who you give those opportunities to, okay? And that's not to say, again, that you're not gonna be helpful to those that you love, those you care about, those who haven't taken advantage of it. You are probably one of the most kind and giving people, that's how you got in this situation. <laughs> but again, you know, if, you, if the well runs dry, if you're not taking care of yourself, you know, you know put your oxygen mask on first, then there's, you know, no way you can help other people anyway, right? So I do, I do feel like you are going to be in a fantastic position, a much, much better financial as well as emotional position by the end of this process. And again, time is fluid. So for you, it may be a couple months, it may be by the end of the year, um, but it is going to be a process and it's definitely going to end up in a much better place for you. Um, you know, so you're just going to have to kind of start cutting out the people that aren't doing right by you, not treating you well, uh, taking advantage in any way, whether they're coworkers, whether they're family members, whatever in the financial realm. Um, and then, you know, kind of treating yourself to the things that you deserve and that you've earned and that you're working for, right? So let's get a abundance card on each row and see what that's got to say for us here. All right. Alrighty, so worth, okay, and I think this is pretty self-explanatory in that I feel like here you feel like you didn't really stand up, and I think this is kind of like an advice card, kind of a warning card to you saying, listen, you need to know your self-worth. So if you're still back in this row here, you haven't progressed forward, know your worth, okay? If people are taking advantage of you, if they're still draining you, if there's still partnerships or, you know, co-workers or family members that are, you know, mistreating you financially in any way, taking advantage of you, know your worth, do not allow that. That is absolutely unacceptable and it's never going to get you to a place of, you know, financial peace or gain, okay? So don't allow that to continue, okay? And I don't think you do, obviously. We see that King of Pentacles here, we see the sun here, we see the judgment no more. You do not care about it. You do not want it. You're not going to take it. You're moving on with your own decisions here. Uh, and, and this clearing is right there showing that. I mean, it's showing that you are clearing out all of the nonsense, right? You are no longer, you know, you're no longer adhering to anybody else's judgments, anybody else's, you know, um, abuse, financial abuse, really. And that's kind of what it is. If somebody's taking advantage of you, whether it is at a job, whether it is in a partnership, whether it is your family, then, you know, if they're financially taking care of you, then that's really financial abuse. And you need to clear those people out of your life because that's negative and it's toxic. So I do believe you definitely do a clearing here because we see the sun, we see that reverse of judgment. We don't want that anymore. So clearly this is you're doing it. We see it. And that is going to behoove you in so many ways, okay? And then for the last one here, it's right action. And I do believe that you are continuing to take the right action. You are, you know, letting everything go the way it needs to go. You are letting everything be the way it needs to be. You are letting go of um, the stresses. You're letting go of the people who are, you know, really not treating you the best. You are still going to be very helpful which is right, you know, you should be helpful to the ones that you want to be helpful to that have been there for you. That, you know, if they were a good business partner that just made a bad decision, if it was an accident, things like that, but you recognize that they are a decent human being, decent person, you know, I do believe that you are always going to do what's right. Um, family members that truly, you know, didn't take advantage of you, but maybe need your help, you are going to do what's right. But you are also gonna do what's right for yourself this time in regards for being very much more judicious in who you connect with, with your cups here, your two of cups, 
with who you pour your cups out to with your Ace of Cups in reverse and with who you give opportunities to with this Queen of Wands in reverse. So I think everything is gonna work out beautifully for you. I think it's gonna be wonderful. It's going to turn out amazing for you, a much better, happier, more fulfilled financial and emotional gain. So I hope this worked out for you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. And I hope to see you back very soon. Bye.